Hey, super legends, superheroes, and superstars. My name's Dr. Dre, but yes, without a doctor. You're tuned in to Hot Hire, which is the number one place. That's right, I said number one place if you're looking to get into your job in the shortest time possible. So today, uh, so pumped. So my next guest, this lady, is so special to me. So I'm going to say she's family. She is family. But she's also Tony Robbins' family and personal family. And she was actually my first business and life coach a few years ago as well. So I want to say a huge, massive welcome to Pushpa. How are you? Very well, thank you, Andre. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honoured and really, really proud of where you are. You've done exceptionally well. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And you've played a massive part in that. So I really appreciate you. And like, you've got an incredible, like whenever we talk, like your story... Man, you've got an incredible story, like an inspiring story, and you've accomplished like so, 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 so much. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. So the history of what I'm doing now. I'll talk about what I'm doing now, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, tell us about you. So, okay. So I'm originally, I was born in Africa, brought up in the UK, and moved to Australia in 2008, nearly 12 years ago. And since moving to Australia, I initially came with the treasury. So I was working for government, but I also started up my life and leadership coaching during that time. Yep. Okay. Since then, I've had several businesses. So we've had six restaurants, a water desalination plant company, real estate. We've had a training organization. And after all that, um, I even, you know, I've worked for organizations like like you know, because that's where I met you. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and after all that, and through everything you know in life, the highs and the lows, this is where I was truly following life, was finding my purpose. And when I did like a reflection on my past, I saw that every step of it led to leadership. Hence, right now, my focus, my purpose, and my why is all around leadership. And that's for individuals. So even if I'm speaking in an audience or uh, doing workshops it literally is just targeted at the individual first because i truly believe leadership begins from within yes totally agree i totally agree so what were you going to say yeah i was just going to say and the other thing that i've just set up uh is a women's mentoring foundation so you know a little bit about my journey and a lot of the I could say struggles or obstacles, or I could say learning curves were really phenomenal in the fact that I got so much learning out of it. And what I realized during that time was that so many women were falling through the crack. Hence, I started the Women's Mentoring Foundation, and it literally covers from hurting to healing and getting women back up and running so that they can be independent and live living life like by design instead of just having to default to what society is asking them to do. That's amazing. And I just want to say massive congratulations for becoming a Tony Robbins senior leader. That's huge. Trainer. Oh, trainer, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, trainer. Uh, That's I was a senior massive. leader though before. Oh, um, yeah. And yeah, this was many years coming, but I thought, yeah, now I, you know, now I don't have that many demands. My kids are grown up, not that many demands on family commitment. So at least, you know, I can do that. I really absolutely value that environment. And I love the fact that we can support his passion and his mission in transforming thousands of lives. Hey, Super Legends, so sorry to interrupt the show. If you do like what you're seeing, please don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you. Oh, okay. Do you have any valuable tips that you can share with the audience? All right. Um, tips as in anything specific? Yeah. So if you've got anything to do around, say, like job seekers, careers, employers, or, you know, people that might be struggling through like COVID or, you know, just things that you feel would be, you know, valuable. Okay. So first thing, um, especially with job seekers and under the current circumstances, as you know, because that's your area of expertise is to start getting back to believing themselves now Andre what's happened over these last few months well it's nearly a year 
and people are not realizing this is that the situation has impacted them, you know, whether it's emotionally, whether it's mentally, even physically, that, you know, they're not doing anything, even on a spiritual level. And here in Queensland, we're pretty fortunate that we are going back into the working environment. Mm -hmm. However, people have not sort of addressed where they are. Like they're not the same person as they were 12 months ago or 11 months ago. So that's one thing I'd say that if you're really looking for a job is to just maybe do a reflection over the last few months and see if things have changed to where you are to where you are now. If you get an opportunity to start truly looking for what it is that you want to be. Now, one of the things that I teach in my leadership is one of the questions that I ask is that who are you supposed to be before others told you who you should be? Oh, oh, that is powerful. Okay. Yeah, and that's literally going back to your factory setting. So if you think about children or youth, even myself, we had a dream when we were six, seven, eight years old. We had a dream. We wanted to do something. And then we've had education cram information into us. And then we've had role models and we've had other people just put stuff into us. And somewhere in that, many of us have truly lost our identity. That's why even when people go into work, there's, they might be fulfilled, but there's always a gap as well until they realize that this is what I truly want to do. And maybe that job is what they want to do. That business is what they want to do. Even staying at home, this is the way that they want to bring their children up. Mm. It's only when they truly find that inner being. And that's why the leadership that I teach, yes, it's based on Asian leadership wisdom, but it's like Lao Tzu said that if you truly want to find out what a leader should be doing, then you should really go back into the history books. And Churchill said the same. People have lost that personal touch. And there's a lot of positional leaders out there, but followers are minimal unless they have to follow, if that makes sense. Because a leader can be anybody. It could be somebody that's just come out of school, that's looking for work. Mm. Yeah. And if they get the opportunity to just look at where they are, go back in time a little bit and find out, you know, is this, where do I really want to go? Is this the degree what I really wanted to do? Is this qualification what I really want to do? And it might be something that leads into a different pathway. Pushma, oh, absolutely. Just give me absolute gold, absolute gold. And I love, yeah, I love quotes. So can you tell us more about your, about your programs and some of the projects that you've got you know, coming up? Yes, so we have, um, I have my main program, which is the Ultimate Leadership Mastery Program, and that has seven elements in it. So it's the seven eyes, and that's all around your leadership from within. So we're looking at the integrated approach, the Asian principles delivered in a modern context, so if, even if you think of Arnold Schwarzenegger, or is that how you say his surname? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah even cool. Elon Musk, even, um, you know, there's so many people now that are in leaders, but they look at the leaders of the past to get their guidance. Mm. And that program basically is based on that. So we're going back to your core and it really gets you to dig down, really dig deep scrape that barrel within you and to if there's things that are not serving there serving you you can you know just put away and then you can start recreating so the ultimate leadership mastery program is for you as an individual it's going to give you everything that you need to then go on to create the life that you want to lead whether it's at home whether it's in a business organization and it's the core of a human being i could say it's holistic so if you yeah. think about leadership in the past, it people, it was, um, it used to be transformational. Then it came mm -hmm. back to just being a modern way of doing leadership, a two week course or a six week course. What's truly coming into place now that is becoming transcendental, like it was thousands of years ago, people are coming back to the core of being a human being instead of just being a human doing. And the other things that we have is that I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring. We do a lot of 
workshops, which is one too many. And those workshops are specifically designed for the group that is asking us to come in. And we yeah. design yeah. the program that they desire. And my speaking engagement. So that's obviously one to a lot of people. Uh, and I always, you know, I always aim to meet the needs of the people that are in front of me. So anything that I create is always started with the thought of what is it that the other person is looking for not about me not what I want to deliver but what would the audience want to hear from me when I'm talking how can I help them I love that so how do people get hold of you if they want extra details or they want to do your program what's the best way to contact you so um, right now social media is pretty good We've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, we've got LinkedIn. I've had a lot of uh, business through LinkedIn. Yep. I think they're the three main ones that I use. You can contact me via phone and I'm going to give you my mobile as well. So 04505825540. And that's my direct number. Usually, you know, it's a PA or somebody that would answer the phone. But when I'm working with people, I like to make it personal there's a reason that they're contacting me and I want to really build up that relationship. The other thing is, um, yeah, just word of mouth. My website is just being, how do you say when your website's being reformed? Under, under, under development? Yeah. yeah. And, um, but we do have the, the platform for the online programs that's live. So just contact me. I think the best way is probably through Messenger in Facebook. If not, then a text or a direct call. Brilliant. And what I'll do, I'll make sure that all of your details are in the show notes as well. So Thank Pushpa, you. oh, it's about that time. So we're going to wrap <laughs> up. So do you have a dad joke for us to finish on? All right. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one, right? Okay. Um, right. There's this guy on the motorway, probably 70 year old. He's yeah. traveling down the motorway, elegantly doing the right speed. And all of a sudden he sees this police car coming after him. And he's like, didn't re he didn't think whether it's coming after him or not, but he saw the police car. So he started to speed down that motorway, like fly down. And the police car saw this, so he puts on his blinkers and is chasing him down the motorway. Eventually, the guy thinks, oh, this is never going to stop. I'm just going to stop the car and I'll get fined for whatever he wants. Actually, he didn't say, I'm going to get fined. He had an element of fear in him. So when the police car came out of his car, went to the gentleman's window, knocked on the window and asked him to put the window down. And he did, and he said to the, he saw that he was an elderly guy and, you know, he sort of felt sorry for him. So he said, you know what, if you can give me a good enough reason as to why you were speeding or running away from me, and if it's something that I've never heard before, then I won't charge you and I'll let you go. So the elderly gentleman said, well, a few years ago, my wife ran away with a police officer and I thought you were chasing me to bring her back to me. <laughs> so the police officer said, well, have a nice weekend and I hope I don't see you again. <laughs> I've never heard that and I was like, I don't know where this is going, but yeah, absolutely love that. I'm going to give you a mic drop. So Pushma, I just want to say... <laughs> I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for coming on, telling us about you and also like the programs that you offer and delivering, oh man, like, yeah, so much value as well. So I really, really appreciate you and thank you so much. Thank you very much. And Andre, you're doing such an exceptional job. Anybody that comes across your path, I know it's going to make a difference, not only in their career, but in their lives. You're an exceptional coach. I mean, you, the way you deliver is so authentic and it's very rarely to find that. So I love the passion and everything that you're, you know, you're putting out there. Well done.